Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having such a great day. Um, Happy New Year, because I haven't done a video last week. That's because I've been ill. Uh, got man flu, as you do. Everyone seems to be ill recently, so yeah, I, I, I wasn't really well enough to make a video last week, and the weather wasn't great either, so didn't get round to making one. So apologies for that. Uh, but we're back now and we're going to do a quick video today because, like I said, the weather, again, not very good. It's been raining this morning. So it's currently uh, 10 to 2 and it's still not good out. It's still really cold, it's still really wet. Uh, it's going to rain again later. So we're not doing the exhaust again today. Ugh, so annoying. I want to get it on. Um, but yeah, the weather's just not playing along with me. We're just going to do today's video and that is going to be uh, five things I pretty much hate about my car. So if you've clicked on this video, uh, chances are you've probably seen other people's videos, what they don't like about their car. Uh, I think Lee Lockwood did one on when he had an ST. Uh, Jay Mono I think has done one, I can't remember. Both great YouTubers, go check them out if you've not already. Lee used to have a Fiesta, now he's got an Evo, and uh, Jay Mono has still got a Fiesta, so if you're into your fi Fiestas, so if you're into your Fiestas, definitely check uh, Jay out and Lee's old videos, and Lee's current videos, he's, he's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, they've done videos in the past, what they hate about their Fiestas, so I've tried to come up with things different to what they've said, because I don't want to just copy what they've done. Now, that doesn't mean that I've made up uh, stuff what I don't like. It is stuff what genuinely annoys me and some things I really do hate. I don't know, but you're here, so welcome. And you know what? Let, enough waffling on, this has gone on long enough. Probably like three or four minutes. Waste of time. Let's just jump straight into the car and uh, yeah, talk you through what I dislike about it. Right then, boys, we're in the car. Uh, just want to say before we start as well, these are in no particular order. It's hard to place. Um, you know, these things, like, I don't want to order them because they all kind of wind me up equally. Some more than others, but not enough that I can really place them. So, yeah, just a little disclaimer there, no particular order. But let's jump straight into the first one. Right, so the first thing on my list of things I hate about my Fiesta is the wing mirrors. Uh, they're automatic ones, so when you unlock the car, they open up. When you lock the car, they fold in. Fair enough. Um... The problem I've got with them is the right one is broken. It like clicks when it comes in. I'll put a clip in. Um, I'll probably put a clip in of all the things that I'm going to talk about. But it like clips when it's trying to uh, close. It's really annoying. I don't know why it does it, but apparently it's quite a common problem. I've looked on all the forums and everything, and yeah, a lot of people have got the same issue. Apparently it's something to do with the gear. Is like skipping a few clicks I don't know how to describe it I've not took it apart yet to have a look and to be fair even though it does annoy me it's not something I'm rushing to try and fix you know so that's the first thing the next thing I've got on my list number two uh, is gonna be the seat in position I don't know if you can really tell in this video um, but you s I mean I've got quite a lot of room but you sit really high up you can see here if I sit up straight as I would drive my shoulder's like well above the door card. Um, you just sit really high up. Now I'm not sure why that is, because if you put aftermarket seats in, you're gonna be a lot lower, you know, on the rails what you'd put in. Maybe it is just the rails on these seats what really raise them up. I don't know if you could put different ones on to lower them down, but this is on the lowest setting as well. And uh, yeah, it's just so high up. Like, I, when I've driven other cars, you know, you're, you're sitting like really down here, so you're level, like with, with the uh, door cards and that. And you feel a lot more like you're in the car, like it's a lot more like sporty in that. Whereas with the Fiesta ST and the, you know, the standard Fiesta, the seating position is just so high, and I really don't understand why they did that. And the other thing about the seats is there's actually three things one, the seating position, two, the way it raises and lowers. Now you'd think, wouldn't you, that the when you lower your seat, you would actually go up and down. In the Fiesta ST, and I think the, the standard ones, I can't remember, 
you don't go up and down you you leave her like that so your arse just goes down but your legs are still up your knees are still touching the steering wheel nearly depending on how tall you are and I'm quite short sure, and it, it's still kind of a problem for me you know you know because there's no footrest uh, when you're on the motorway and that you've just got your leg up here and you, you, you're touching the steering wheel so that was pretty annoying don't know why they made it so that the seat doesn't just go down it, it just tilts <sighs> I can't explain why they would make that decision, but that's the second part about the seats what I don't like. The third part, and everyone says it, is the latches. You know, to tilt the seat forward, get people in the back. They are so fragile, they are made of the cheapest plastic you can think of. Mine haven't broke yet, but it's probably not going to be long until they do. I don't know why they use such a cheap plastic for the seat, because if it breaks, you have to either buy a new like cable and everything, which is not cheap. I think they're like 30, 40 quid. Or you can put a cable tie on it and bodge it, but seriously, why, why, why did they cheap out on it? I really don't know. It's annoying, like three factors about the seats. Um, but yeah, I, lo I do love the seats. They're really comfy. They hug you well uh, when, you, when you're really giving it some, you know, when you're booting it. Um, yeah, it's just the position, the latches, and you know, it's, I don't know why, why they made those decisions, but they did. So point number three, what I've got on my list is the bumper sag. Um, again, I'll insert a clip, but on the right hand side, driver's side, whatever, underneath the light, there's quite a big panel gap, whereas on the passenger side, there's not. That's just the bumper sagging. I, you can probably cable tie up. I've not got around to it just yet, but yeah, it's one of them things, and it? it's an old car. Maybe, maybe a lot of old cars start to do it, but but yeah, it's just one of them things, you know. Uh, it's pretty annoying. I probably could fix it if I wanted to, and I probably will get around to it in the summer. But it, why, why is it doing it in the first place? It's annoying. So number four, uh, the window wipers. My God, the window wipers are so shit. <laughs> And that's being polite. Maybe it's just mine. Maybe it's just mine what I knackered, but they've got like automatic, like, you know, they've got a sensor up here. So when it's raining, they come on automatically. But maybe it's a Fiesta problem. Maybe it's a my car problem. I don't know. But you've got this little, um, again, put a clip in. You've got a little dial thing and you can choose how, how frequently you want them to turn, uh, turn on, depending on how much rain there is. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I tend to have mine set to like three, but let's be honest, it makes no difference. Um, it could be really fine rain and just not a lot at all. Just, you know, barely raining. And it'll work for maybe five minutes. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the, the wipers will just start really going for it at full speed, non-stop. And it doesn't stop unless you turn it off for like 30 seconds and then back on again. It could be the sunstrip, but I really doubt it because when I had the sunstrip fitted, I made sure that they were clear of the sensors and everything. So unless there's like a hidden sensor for that wipers, then maybe that's it. But and other times as well, it could be absolutely pissing it down, and you could have it set to one, which means like it should be going with just one drop of water, it should be going for it, and it won't come on. So that's frustrating. Don't know why it does it. Another annoying thing. Before we get to number five, I'm going to do my honourable mentions. Now, looking at my list, these are all things what other people have mentioned, but I just want to throw it out there because it is annoying. And if you are looking at buying a Fiesta, just be, be aware of these things. But the first one is getting into reverse gear. There's no... I've been told it's called Synchro Mesh, but I could be wrong. And it grinds all the time. You have to be at a complete standstill and sometimes, even then, if you put it in reverse, it will grind. There is a little trick, however, apparently, and it does work sometimes, sometimes again it doesn't. If you go into third and then into reverse, from a standstill, it won't grind. Uh, second honourable mention is the turning circle, it is pathetic. Uh, Lee summed it up really well. In his video, every other car, no matter what, has got a really good turning circle. I don't know why these don't. You can only do one and a little bit turns, and 
you know, when you're trying to piss about getting into a space and whatnot, it can be pretty annoying, a bit frustrating. If you're trying to do like a turn in the road, instead of it being like, you know, a two point turn, it's then like a three or four point turn depending on the road. There will be a reason why the turn circle's so bad. It's probably so it doesn't catch. But yeah, another annoying thing. Third and final honourable mention is there's no sixth gear. I've, I've, I can live with it now. It, it is annoying, uh, especially when you're on your motorways, because your revs always going to match your speed when you're in fifth gear. Uh, if you're doing seventh, uh, you you're going to be sitting at three and a half thousand revs. If that was a sixth gear. It would make you know so much of a difference to the car. It'd be so much better. The, your fuel efficiency would go up a lot. Um, it wouldn't be as loud, you know, it, it'd just be a, a nicer experience. But yeah, it, it, weird decision, why not put a sixth gear in there? It's, it's just frustrating, but you learn to live with it. You learn to live with all these things, to be fair, but yeah. So, my final actual thing I hate about this car, and call me nitpicky, I don't care. It winds me up, I can't understand the, the decision behind it. <laughs> Someone's just rode past me on a bike, and I'm at home. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, the fifth and final thing is the dials, but not specifically the dials. The LEDs will light up. Um, why are they green? I have no idea. It is not a nice color. The screen's green. Your window up and down buttons are green. Your light switch is green. Uh, your heater controls are all green. Fair enough. If you're going with green, keep everything green. But why make the stereo red? It doesn't match. It looks stupid. I don't get it. it... <sighs> do you know what? I'm going to put this at number one because it really winds me up. And I know people do the LED conversion and that. And that looks so much better. You know when you have it in like red, blue, or white, something like that. But the green, it's not a nice colour. And it, it's, I don't know. If the stereo was green, I could live with it maybe, but the fact that the stereo's red and the dials are green, why? Why have you done that, Ford? Seriously, if you work at Ford and you made that, let me know, because why do you do that? It's so annoying. Even if I get, you know, I've got another stereo upstairs from my last car, even if I put that in and match it with green, it would be a little bit better, but I would just prefer all the dials to not be green, because it just looks so much nicer. Again, call me nitpick it, I really don't care, it winds me up. It's just not a nice colour. Why make that red? I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything I dislike about this car. Um, there's a few other little bits, but I, I didn't really see them you know, worthy enough for the video, so I didn't include them. But maybe if in the future, you know, some some other things develop with this car what I don't like maybe I'll do another video and, and talk about it but they're like you know they're the main things what I dislike about it with a couple of honorable mentions um yeah that's all I've got for you today because like I say I mean it looks nice out there doesn't it it looks lovely but it isn't it's so cloudy it's so dull it's gonna rain like any minute now it's, it's not good, so I can't do the exhaust, that's really annoyed me, but maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, I'll let you know, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. You probably do, because that's where I think most of you have come from who've subscribed. But if you don't, follow me, because that's where you hear about new videos coming out. I always post on Instagram first, uh, to say new video whenever, like the next hour, tomorrow, you know. So give me a follow on there. I post pictures of nothing but my car as well. So if you like my car, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Give us a follow. Uh, if you liked what you've seen in this video, then feel free to subscribe. I'm not going to beg you to. If you liked it and you want to see what else I do, then go for it. If you want, check out my other videos. Uh, I've done five so far, I think. And my channel is all about my car, so... Yeah, if you're interested, subscribe, give us a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I actually want to hear from you guys, if you've got a Fiesta ST, what what do you not like about it? Um, is there anything what I dislike and you think, yeah, that's not that bad? Uh, anyway, that's all we've got for today. 
Uh, hopefully see you next week or maybe even tomorrow if the weather's any better and we get the exhaust on. So excited for the exhaust. I'm really hoping the weather's good because can't wait. Um, but yeah, that's all we've got now. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.